guys welcome back to building your dream home on a budget so I decided to drop in and give you all a bonus video before we get to the next episode that's all about your foundation so I thought this would be very helpful some some of you that are like kind of still in the architect phase where you still have a little bit of time to go back and add some elements to your dream custom home so the first thing I want to talk about is a little bit about your design element. I think this is very important when you're thinking about incorporating different themes and different characteristics. Some of those design elements, you have to decide, do you want your home to be more modern? Do you want it to be contemporary or just traditional? I like to consider my home as modern with the twist of contemporary. So I think deciding what type of design element and type of style that you decide to build your home with It'll give you inspiration and creativity for different features that you can add. Next, I did want to talk about some unique features, or at least that I feel are unique, that I added to my home that I hope can help you and guide you to do something just a little different than the norm, traditional things that you see in regular production homes. So, my theme is very circular um, with a lot of curvature, I would say. So, for example, my entryway is curved. My dining room is actually oval shaped with curvature. And one of the things that I said, I do not care if I do not get anything else in this house. I have to have this particular kitchen that I saw in a very, very pricey um, model home, custom home. And that was a circular kitchen. So once again, uh, my kitchen is circular. In addition, I also have the Juliet balconies in my home, and those have curvature to them also. So I kind of like to think of my theme is built around circular and curvature characteristics. Some other features that I decided to incorporate into my home was things like a sunken wine room. So when I lived up north, I really loved how a lot of the houses had sunken rooms. So for any of you that don't know what a sunken room is, it's basically the element that the room is built like below the level of the rest of the house. So when you walk into that room, you actually have to step down um, into that room. So I did add that feature um, to one of the rooms in my home. Another feature that I added, and I think it's very important, is try to utilize the space underneath your stairs. It is wasted space but you can do little things to spice it up i've seen videos where people make bookcases underneath their stairs wine cellars and things like that but for me since we do have a pet a small dog we decided to utilize the space under our stairs to make a dog house so we actually built a little gate to keep him in i actually had the electrician to install a light underneath there and that's where he lives so we have kind of like a dog house um, inside the next thing that I think is something very characteristic that people absolutely love is that I decided to basically build a sort of two-story master bedroom so I actually do have spiral stairs in my master bedroom that goes up to a loft area that overlooks the main master bedroom this loft area has a window and I will utilize it for my home office. Another feature that I did add, I wanted a fireplace, but I didn't want the traditional fireplace. So I actually built an electric fireplace between the living room and the kitchen. Um, having an electric fireplace is very economical. I didn't have the expense of building a real wood burning or gas fireplace because I quickly learned that those are very expensive. So I decided to just go with the electric fireplace. It gives a very pleasing aesthetic and it actually gives off a little bit of heat um, with the remote control if that's what you're looking for. In addition, one feature that my husband saw in a model home that he loved was having your laundry room connected to either a closet or your master bathroom. We decided to go with having our laundry room connected to our master bathroom. This is a very unique feature. It's very close to the bathroom. You just walk out, clothes in hand, makes it very easy. There's also an additional door in our hallway where guests were able to go in and utilize the laundry room. 
One more feature that I want to talk about is that I actually decided to put my bathtub inside of my walk-in shower. I will do my best to insert a picture of that because I know when I was explaining it to a lot of my family and friends, they had a very difficult time visualizing that. So I think that it's something that is very unique that I really haven't seen in any custom homes or any production homes. So you might want to think about that and give that a try to save a little space. Another feature is we did decide to do what they're calling a secret room or a hidden room. I was fortunate enough to have an excellent cabinet maker that was able to make me a door that looks like a bookcase. But in actuality, this bookcase door opens up and it goes inside of a secret room that we will use as our media room, TV room. Something else that I really liked where your pantry door, you don't have a traditional pantry door, but your cabinet guy makes your pantry doors look just like your cabinets and you kind of walk into them. So I really, really like that feature and that's something that I did decide to go ahead and add. For any of you out there that have children, another unique feature that I decided to do was in my daughter's bedroom. I actually built her a little study nook where she can do her homework and things like that. But that study nook also has a door and a balcony where she can go out to overlook um, the downstairs. I'll do my best to insert as many pictures as I can find of these different unique features, or at least that I feel is unique, that I incorporated into my home. I hope this helps you when you're designing and planning to build your dream home. I hope it sparks some creativity and some inspiration for you. Once again, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, bye.